We're doing jungle v jungle elo hell. So there's two elo hell people. Two people that signed up. That's are okay. Not saying they're perfect. That's are pretty good. Their MMR was the same when I put them in this lobby. And I don't know if something updated or what happened, but one of the dudes dropped a lot of MMR. So now we got a small MMR gap. They're still basically the same rank. This is throwing them into a high diamond masters lobby so a mix of high diamond players and masters here is nd o'brien who's on the red team jungling he is plat 5 1687 mmr it was 1700 mmr higher i don't know what happened i have zero clue what happened and on the other side of the map we have geo dude also plat 5 but it's showing him at like 90 mmr higher whatever the fuck it is really good win rate on geo dude really really good win rate so there is what i'm expecting is some kind of a gap here it's just so weird to see the same rank this is why in smite you can really pay attention to the rank when it tells you i you should be mad like that doesn't matter this whole shit is bullshit. it's just about getting enough games in and seeing where your mmr takes you so we'll see what they where these guys mmr takes them all right let's swap these people around and do the shit boom 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 and then we'll be swapping between Geodude and Brian. Okay, maybe we won't be swapping in the Geodude. <laughs> what? That might actually be better clear. Now I'm wondering. I'm pretty sure the three is better. Because you can three twice and just keep autoing the mid creep, the big creep. But we'll see how his clear is here. I might roast his clear really hard. Starts, we have I, and they'll probably go into Rod first. And then we have Bumba's, and we're going into Soul Eater first. There's 203 Masters right now. Which isn't a lot. That's a dude. People in my YouTube was like, I know I, someone and I quote, I'm in a group chat with all the console masters players. There's way more than 30 of us. Like, bro, you are not. No, no. None of these players are talking to you, bro. What are you saying? Like, well, OK, but wasn't that clear it was kind of kind of meh, like really meh. Yeah, dude, you got to start your three geo, dude. Oh my goodness. You're not even using the two to clear this. Yeah, you 100% do not ever go your two because you can't use the clear red. So that is bot status. Not Do not like seeing that. Um, Let's see how our Bastet reacts to the laning phase. The Thoth, Bastet, the Ra they have good matchups for each team here, like in terms of clearing. He's playing up too far. He might die to the Raijin. If the Quang wasn't shook, the best that would have died. Oh, they kill him. Wait, if he stays, he's gonna die. He's dead. He's actually dead right here if he hits level three. The Raijin should be one creep off of three. Yeah. The Raijin is. Oh, he didn't clear it. He didn't clear that creep. Oh, he's getting clapped by Thoth. Polly's going in. They got beads on mid. So Bastet ends up getting the dub there, but he did nothing. That was all Thoth. He did absolutely nothing there. When does Geodude evolve? If he's playing like this, not not likely happening today. He needs to get some wave XP. Not from here, from mid. Bassett gets the left mid. He's backing. Is he just getting tier two? Okay, tier two, a little bit more power. Geodude still being level two sucks. Okay, that see if he had been there for that other wave, he'd be ahead more than likely of this Bastet. Yeah, he would. He'd be ahead of the Bastet. They're both farming really, really poorly. No, the duo didn't clear one of the back creeps. You see him? Why is he afraid? One of my pet peeves of watching junglers in lower brackets, not like the lowest, but in any bracket that's lower, is how fearful they are of being in a bad position. So they sit so far back, they can't be in a good position either. The Thoth just had an aggressive dash mid. Oh, he might kill Stallone. He's Thoth ulti him. Oh, he just soloed Stallone. Yeah, Stallone's getting worked by Polly. Oosh. Both of them are still level three. This should be a kill. He popped his cooldown shard. Wait, that was a power shard? 
That was power shard. Okay, okay, okay. I thought that was cooldown shard. That's a kill for Bastet. That was a good gank. I thought he popped cooldown shard. I was about to be sad, but now I'm happy because it was claw shard as damage shard. And the blue invade because the Alquang went to the left side of the map. This is stuff I teach on stream on almost every YouTube video where there's some form of coaching. So seeing people who are like, yeah, man, I'm in ELO hell, not doing the bare minimum that I tell you guys to do how to be better players is so painful. Like this is so disappointing. I say it over and over and over again. If you're a jungler and that first blue spawn, so around level four or five, whatever level you are, you have to be at the blue when it comes up. You can't be on the left side of the map. You can't be at their purple. You can't be doing your speed. You need to be at this fucking blue when it spawns. You have to be there. There's times where it's acceptable. Like if you get a duo lane kill and it leads into you going for other invades or something. So, oh, I see. <gasps> that was such a good stun from the Kabrakin. That was such a good stun from Kabrakin. He's leveling the two. Bro, I'm actually pissed. I want to go in and talk to him and be like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? I'm telling you, if you want to be a better jungler and you're in the lower brackets, the first step you can make is being at blue on timer. And that doesn't have to be your blue. You can go to their blue on the timer. But if you're on that side of the map, you're either securing your blue and then able to back farm safely and get all the farm and be in a good spot, or you're invading their blue and then back farming and just shutting down that solo and putting your solo ahead. It's really difficult to play around the duo side of the map early and get an advantage because you have no farm on that side of the map. There's speed, backs, red, blue, mids on this side, plus the camp, plus their blue that you can get access to. On the other side of the map, you've got purple, backs, and a speed. Oh, that was a good execute. That was a really good execute. I hope they commute. Oh, wait, was that just luck? No, they had to have known his beads were down. Good job by Geo dude there to get a nice little pick off of the pressure. Oh, he walks over ward. He doesn't know it. ADC's already gone. Roses are red, violets are blue, hard rhyme incoming equals being fucking blue. <laughs> Why is he leveling his two up, dude? So he hasn't watched the El Leon rank one Alquang video either. I haven't done any rank one videos lately. Anyone rank one on a god right now? Want to do a video after this? Failed gank on this side of the map. Oh, that's not even a failed gank. That was a that was a match. The Aries matched the gank. Good counter gank from Crazy to stop that shit. Oh, they're invading. The, oh man, he should have been he should have passed more aggressively here. They got the blue What? That's crazy invade The mid support invaded blue This is elo hell. Yes with two elo, elo hell quotations junglers Oh, oh he's dead That two wait, I don't know if that two killed wait. He missed the two. Is that a range? I guess I don't know if it would have killed though, because he doesn't have any power. Mm, this clear is horrendously bad. Your jungle clear leveling your two is bad because they get thrown into the side creeps when you use your three and you lose three stacks. And then even if you don't, you're still not killing the side creeps. You just auto it. Smacks the three, bro. The three is on a six second cooldown, I'm pretty sure, with no CDR. Or some crazy low number with no CDR. And then if you, as soon as you have CDR, GG, what are the items? He's got rod finish. He oh, he almost has leader stacked. So he did have decent power, actually. The best that did. If he hit that two, he would have killed the Regin. Is that an item purchase? Tier two mace. This is a good power spike for him if he looks for something. Alqua the dash in? He has blink. That's a kill. Nice. Good kill. I was worried that dash in was gonna be a fail. Oh, this could be really good. This could be a kill. This could be a kill. Just auto him, bro. Beat that. Yeah, clap those cheeks. If he had ulted, he wouldn't know this at lower bracket, but if he had ulted there, 
he they, him and the Raijin probably could have killed the best that right when he landed it would have been close but it would have been cool to see uh, could have dashed the best at all I think it was up yeah I I really don't expect the mechanical outplays from these guys even if they are in elo hell they're not going to be out playing people that are at these higher divisions that they think they should be in they'll be equal playing them they'll kind of be skating by most of the time You would never do rank one on a god you've already done, right? No, I will. I've done, um, I did one of them. We did Thanatos? We did Thanatos. Yeah, yeah, Because the first time I did Thanatos was a really low, no offense, because he could be in here, plat player who had a really bad game. So it was a terrible example of like what a rank one should be. It was more of, you know, rank one players can actually be kind of poo-poo. So I, anytime that happens, I definitely want to do another one or just over time, I, I want to do other ones. People play different. Like everyone, like two people can play a god at a really high level and just play completely differently. Oh, the sidestep. The gank? Nice try. That two throw is really bad though. It's kind of awkward. I can not know if you're going to be chosen for elo hell after you fill the form. You, to like go through and call your name, you can't. Did Al Kwan just get another pick? He did. He just executed solo. Good play. Good job playing around the side of the map that he can kill. This guy has no magic defense. He farms that side of the map. He's kind of going nuts. I like the aggression, confidence. Now, if he was, if he was starting his abilities right and on timers early, he'd be dumpstering this game. This this Alquan would be two. He is two levels up. He'd be like four levels up. Vastat's playing really poorly though. On the same, same side. He's got some weird ganks. Pathing's bad. Targeting has been kind of rough. He had that early gank on solo, which was great, but he should have gone back for another one. He backs to base a lot too. Doesn't change off of purple. Come on, bro. What are you doing? This Alquang has had those speeds up for a while. If the Alguan didn't have the last hits on the ganks, he'd be the same level as the Bastet. Neither of them are farming properly. I honestly think that's the first step to getting better as a jungler is to farm properly and then incorporate when and where and how to gank and be looking for the right times to gank. Cause like this dude's speeds were just up for what, four minutes? They were just sitting here for nah, maybe four, three minutes, at least three minutes. Yeah, back, that's also min max, which I would hope to see if someone is actually a masters player getting level 12, then back in getting your active. So when you're out, you don't you can go for a fight or a gank or whatever it is you're looking for an objective instead of having to back again to get your beads. You can definitely see another gank on this side of the map, though. He's got he's only got another minute to gank this guy. And this pathing is awkward. He's gonna get turned on. Good play to walk by. I'm surprised he was aware enough of that. Did he get gooseberries? Uh, no, he went bow. Gooseberries would have helped him on clear. Good disengage from Quang. I like that Bastet's looking for some plays. He altered the Aries, so this is awkward. He does have beads though. Okay, big kill in the Aries. Not a lot of synergy between anyone there. He's healing for a good amount off of the Soul Eater. Oh my gosh, what did Gozen just do? Oh, he's out. He's ult. He's so low. <gasps> Polly. Polly lives. Wait, does Polly die to the creeps? No, Polly lives. These engagements are crazy. They're all over the place. I 
think casuals are meant to be for fun. I think they are at a low beginning stage. There's MMR and casuals, all right? So if you're a fresh account or you've lost a lot, you're about you're you know, you're doing bad. Those kind of games are going to be people learning. They're going to be trying gods they don't understand yet. They're going to be figuring out what roles they want to play. That kind of shit. Once you play MMOs casuals, your MMR goes up. Those are going to be the games where either you're grouping and you should be fucking around with your friends or you're experimenting and or trying to learn something you don't know already. Um, that's not beginner stage shit like a certain build or maybe a new God came out or maybe you're changing roles or you want to learn another role that you get you keep getting in ranked, that kind of stuff. If you are queuing ranked with multiple people, or sorry, casuals with multiple people, and you're sweating, you're playing top gods in the game, you're a fucking bot. I don't care what level of play you are, I don't care how often you play your friends play the game. If you're a higher MMR, you're five man, you're three, four, five man queuing and you guys are sweating, you're you're why aren't you playing ranked? Because it's not because oh I have to do okay. That's not why. You're either getting shit on, uh, so this makes you feel better, casuals make you feel better about yourself, or you're afraid. You don't you're afraid to get roasted, you're afraid you aren't good enough. Uh, it's a video game. If you're competitive, you play ranked. If you're not competitive, which is fine, then just go have fun. Do shit for fun. Don't do shit to win in casuals. Did he hit that? No, he did not. This bastard has missed that two more times than I've seen anyone miss. He's dead. Even with the beads, he should die. Oh, no way. No way. He's out. Okay, he's not, maybe not out. This coin might be able to kill him. He's holding the leap for it. Nice. He's out. Good job holding the leap. I'm glad he didn't leap early. He would have died. I'm the expert on the universe. No, it's just psychology, standard psychology shit and playing the video games for a long, long, long time. It's not like crazy shit either. You're not playing casuals and sweating unless you're doing it to make yourself feel fucking better about yourself like that that's all it is if you're at all combat i'm also a competitive person so the idea of you're gonna go play casuals and be competitive no that that's not, that's not how that works that's like playing rec league sports and being competitive like bro those leagues are for you to have fun and mess around with your friends You need to get out of here, buddy. Yeah, he needs to watch out for this. He needs the pre ult. Let's see if he does it. Oh, he got his leap back up. Uh, leap back, leap back, leap back. I think he's out. Solo laners are so just insane. Look at this. This guy's still not dead. There you go. A little bit of respect. The fact that he wasn't afraid to fight. The, the XP is going to start to be a problem here because his Bastet is farming nothing. The whole like casual rank conversation is only happening too because at first you said ranked is dead so i don't see the value in playing it and then i'm like well ranks not dead it's just at high end there aren't a lot of good players at every other bracket there's you know thousands of people playing the game and you were like well i just don't see the value well that means you're either not competitive or you're afraid to go try and fail which is okay to try and fail because then you just worry about getting better because your ass ain't gonna go into ranked and clap cheeks you aren't you aren't rising to masters right away that might also be a thing that deters you from playing is you know you're going to get shit on a bunch and have to get better. And then, you know, another argument's going to be, well, toxicity. There's toxicity in casuals in every game. It's not just ranked. It's casuals too, and it's every game. It's not just mine. So try again. Keep the excuses coming. I don't care whether you play ranked or not, but definitely don't go around thinking you're any good if your ass isn't playing ranked. Dodges happen in all ranks. That's not a low level thing. We get dodged like two, three times in a row over and over again in Masters GM lobbies. I want to see how this Quang plays the next fight because this next fight should, if it's a full on fight, should determine the game and this Bassett levels down. 
That sets in a really bad spot to see. He also went third item Heartseeker, which is fucking nuts. That should have been serrated for enough pen to kill supports. That's that being W keyed. I think he's dead. Never mind. Al Kwong. Wait, he might still get him. Nope. Al Kwong misplayed there heavily. His two should have already been popped, and he should have been able to throw the second. He should have won two. Instantly, not one popped the two, and then not been able to get it off. Good dash there. Bad slow that brought him out of stealth. Bastet's going back in. Okay. Uh, that was. I mean, he didn't do anything on Bastet, but I'm glad he went back in. That was a really bad play from Alquan. Number one reason I think I'm afraid to play ranked is because my friends think I'm best of our group and I know when I go to ranked. Well, that's like the story, right? Is in sports too. You're like the best at your high school, the best at, at whatever level. And then when you get into a higher bracket where everyone's the best at their high school, you're not going to be the best anymore. You have to work on it and get to the point where you're the best or just better. The biggest thing that everyone should realize in anything they do is there's room for improvement all the fucking time, no matter what. He, why didn't he leap back? He tried to land his two instead of just wanting back and taking the bait. He could have been the bait into this kill and lived. Instead, he just traded one for one. Bastet's decision making is bad and his mechanics are questionable. Geo dudes, kind of the same boat, but could still have a way better, bigger lead because his positioning and pathing is better. Oh, you want a damage check. And they're both about the same. I wouldn't expect much. And Smite right now, like sub, sub 20, 25 minutes, you really don't see much damage going out. The Bastet has not gotten a level in like three minutes either. He's doing zero farming. His speeds are both up and he's just walking to the mid lane to fight again. You can't get caught up doing this. You have to farm. You don't leave camps up. So now his reds. Oh, I thought his red was about to get invaded. Oh no, his red speed's down. It was already invaded. <laughs> what? Okay. That's a good fire call. Wish I could see the health. No awareness from red team. They don't even have a clue that this is getting pulled right now. They're actually going to the duo lane. Kill the Rama. And they're probably going to kill him, but. Not a good trade for red team. There they see that fire is up. He's the only one there. Free fire. Oh, Rama got a kill? That's insane. That Rama winning the fight and keeping this fire, GG. That was with the support showing up. I thought the Bastet was going to go over there, but, but she bailed out. The Bastet's trying to kill the Rama. I kind of want to see what's happening over here. Yeah, that was a visual bug. This Rama's huge. This Rama has a seven level lead and a five level lead here. He kills them all. I think he kills them all. This Rama's level 20. Nice execute from Geo, dude. He might be able to kill mid. His one's not up, so I wouldn't go for it. It's kind of risky. This Rama's gigantic, bro. Okay, I don't know how that two landed. He's hitting the Phoenix while the tier two is up. <laughs> Alrighty. They should get mid Phoenix here. Bastet's up, but he's so under leveled it doesn't matter. Bastet's definitely not Elo Hell. Geo dude has glimpses of being better, but then glimpses of being you know this level of play. So I can see why he is in plat. I can see him as a diamond player, like diamond two, maybe three, probably not masters or diamond one like right on that line i think he's a little bit lower than being on that line and if we get him more consistent he could hit high diamond masters but this is two leveling the two first troll his use of abilities is wrong a lot he's he could farm better than he is much better than he is he is going the wait this isn't the l leon build he doesn't have a tell kinds interesting Yeah, and I feel like your name's the same, right? Change caps or something? The thing is, if you're not good enough to carry, you can get to the point where you're good enough to carry. 
video games like smite aren't crazy mechanical caps right this isn't fucking csgo valorant where you need a first shot headshot perfect aim perfect pre-aim all that shit smite is a game where you can be i mean most mobas are like this you can be a very very average mechanical player and still play at the highest level very easily that's why it doesn't surprise me when console players are in masters or even gm because a lot of the roles and gods don't require you to be a mechanical fucking genius like Al Kwong, for example, mechanically very easy to play. It's just how you use the abilities. It's decision making, which you learn your decision making and you'll correct your decision making a lot faster by playing the same God over and over and over and over and over and learning every situation, every matchup, every God, every way to play every gank, you know, all the ways to play objectives, all the way to position, how to flank, how to, you know, do everything. When you can, you can win a trade when you're lower HP. That's shit you learn from playing the same gods over and over again. That's not shit you just magically have pop in your head at some point. You also learn when things don't work by fucking playing the same god a lot and then watching that gameplay back. Good execute. Right now, Geo's able to play off of his teammates and just W key, which is definitely where you want to get. I like that he's committing. Not really afraid. Seemed like he knew what he was doing there. Like he wasn't just freaking out spamming. Ardeo? I haven't seen if it's like being played at an SPL level, but I fucking hate Ardeo. I think Ardeo is annoying to play against in a sense of ganking or like the 1v1s, but in 5v5s, I feel like Ardeo is just poo poo. Especially right now in Smite, once you're at the 30 minute mark, ADCs and mages insta kill everybody. They do so much damage. And then, you know, your junglers insta kill mages and hunters. Your Rav goes crazy even though he's not as good anymore because you play. Oh, yeah, so you're really comfortable on it. So you know all the, you know, all the scenarios and everything and how to play them. So out of this, I would say, Brian, you are probably right where you need to be. It, there's a fucking immense room for improvement. Geo, dude, you're a little bit better than your rank lets off. I mean, you do have a really high win rate or not really, high, but a higher win rate. Your decision making is butt cheeks and i don't mean like should i gank here should i path here that's actually not too bad other than your early game you should have been a blue that was dumb but like when you go for ganks you kind of know and you're almost there with knowing how to play the gank when to use each ability there's just some room like you know there's a good room for improvement there a really big, you know honestly a big room for improvement you're almost there you're almost there Hopefully you guys watch the game back. You can figure some stuff out and uh, get your get your games up, get your ranks up.